Welcome to Audacia. Audacia is a very complicated game, as many of you have noticed. Now, in our expanded rules, we do have tutorial um, versions of the game, so you can build up the complexity bit by bit, but we thought it would be a good idea to have a series of instructional videos um, which will take you step by step through every phase of the game. Okay? There's only so much information we can fit on two sides of A4, which is the amount of space we have to fit into the actual card boxes. So, while these rules are accurate and are actually sufficient if you are incredibly patient and careful and pedantic about the way you read them, um, this struck us as a much easier arrangement for you. So, first thing you're going to do is you're going to have a look at the different types of card. Okay? You can identify in a single deck, this is Jean Le Maigre with the red hat, and this is Galeasa de Mantua in the greyish hat with the blue jacket. Okay? You can identify the cards that are going to go into your hand at some point versus the cards that are not by their backs. So anything with these swords on the back, you want to separate out from those cards that do not have swords on the back, such as, looks like somebody's been arranging these decks for us. Now, the, of the cards which have the swords on the back, perhaps the first thing you should do is separate out the one with the little B on the bottom corner, and there are 12 of them, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve, and that will be your starting basic hand. Set those aside. This is your action deck, the remaining cards, shuffle them however you please, and set them aside. Then, with these cards that have the individual backs, notice Jean Le Maigre has different backs to Gagliazzo. There are again a couple of different types of card. There are posta cards which have which are guard positions, which of which there are twelve. They can be separated out. And then there are the remainder. Okay? Four virtue cards, you'll need one set of these four cards per pair in a game. So either Gagliazzo's or Jean Le whichever. And the inside-outside card, which will become useful later on, for now you can just set it aside. Okay, that brings us to actually starting the game. Okay, to start the game you do need an opponent, and your opponent does need their own deck. Ideally a different character, because it doesn't make a great deal of sense to have Galeas of the Mantua fighting himself, or indeed playing with himself, which would be rude. So, Rami, I consider you a villain and a beast. Yes, I hereby challenge you to mortal combat. Do you accept the challenge? I accept the challenge. Then you shall die, sir, at my hand. Never. <laughs> so, I have challenged Rami. This sets up the conditions of the game. Of course, you don't have to have all the ridiculous trash talk, but we find it amusing. First things first, I have challenged you, man. You have challenged me, indeed. So yeah. that's the uh, step one of the setup process. After our basic uh, hands are ready, we are almost ready for the real combat. But before that, we can, at this point, before determining anything else, uh, select and discard as many cards as we want from our basic hand. I shall be, for instance, discarding two. Just for the uh, amusement of it. So, okay, I'm uh, changing two for two. You are, yes indeed. This is my discard pile right here. Is that correct, Aaron? Discard pile, indeed. Excellent. And at this stage, uh, well, once we are happy with this one, we have only one chance to do this kind of um, one for one um, discard and uh, redraw. We shall be assigning the first of the I'm sorry. Am I? Am I? We'll see, we'll see. Uh, first of all, we need only one set of virtues. There are four of them, and shall we be using your Italian virtues or mine? Let's um, use your French virtues. My French virtues, the best of the best. Uh, and since you are the challenger, yes? Yes. You will be receiving Audacity immediately. 
I have an answer. I have boldness. You have boldness, and I shall be selecting Prudencia for myself. Foresight. And I will take Celerinus. Ah, leaving me with speed, and the elephant with the no, no, tower. No, that's, that's not, I've got speed. You yes, know. with the strength. Strength. For the Dura. Power. Okay, so we have selected the virtues. Mm -hmm. Indeed, yeah. at this point I could, if I would like to do so, salute you, and of course, uh, being a gentleman from the French areas, I shall salute him, of course, I shall be saluting him. And this can be done only by discarding one of your uh, hand cards, as I said, something which is inferior or something which I don't like to use anyway. And this shall be that. Okay, I'll put one card away and salute you, sir. Shall we respond to the challenge? Should you choose not to do so, I shall be receiving plus four and that's here for the first strike. He kind of salutes, but it's not really, really that thing, so it's kind of a tall this salute. So. Yes, so no, I'm not saluting you, sir. I am in route to you, sir. <laughs> Indeed you are. You may have your boldness, sir. <laughs> I, I stand ready to receive it, sir. Let's see what happens. You, sirs and ladies. <laughs> um, we shall be now moving into the out-of-measure process.